G'day guys and welcome to another episode of The Meetup. I am your host, Luke Layson. If I sound a bit nasally, it's because I have been a little bit sick, but I'm all better now. Thanks for thanks for thinking of me. Today's guest is Beck Gamble. Now, she has a very interesting story. She's been in the industry for five years. She's completed a butchering apprenticeship, but before that, she was in finance and administration. So she's moved from country Victoria into the heart of Melbourne to to become one of us, to become a butcher. How good is that? But I'll let her tell you her story. In the meantime, it is competition time. So Australian Pork would like you to create a pork roast, a value-added pork roast recipe, and post it in the Australian Pork Butchers Facebook group. So you could win a Cookmaster, which is a three-in-one outdoor charcoal pizza oven, smoker, and grill. The winning recipe and Butcher will be featured in the Christmas point of sale kits for 2022. And the deadline is the 22nd of July. So the way it's judged is all top five entries will be judged by the public on the Australian Pork Instagram page. And the last competition that won had 600 people vote. So get your thinking caps on, get the recipes into the Australian Pork Butchers Facebook group and good luck. Now let's get stuck into this two-parter episode with Beck Gamble, your humble butcher from Melbourne, Victoria. G'day, Beck, and welcome to the meetup. How are you going? Good, Luke. How are you? Very well. Now, you are, you are in Melbourne, Victoria. Um, on a scale of one to bloody freezing, how is it, how is it over there? Uh, minus two. <laughs> minus two is not. That's yep. not fun at all. Um, we get cold here in Adelaide, but I think Melbourne's just a, a whole new level. Yeah, uh, it's just its own different climate here. I just you just can't get used to it. Yeah. So I've been in Brisbane for a week too, so it's hit me extra hard this week. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent Yeah, it's, it's a good time to go up to Queensland, but a bad time to come back from there. Um, so this is this is a little quick episode so we can get the uh, audience to get to know you. Um, so first of all, you are I guess relatively new to the industry. Um, but in saying that, it's still five years. It's still it's, it's five years of um you know, that in any other job is, is, is quite large, but what, why did you get into the industry um, at this point in your life? Um, pretty much just a love of food and cooking. Like my whole life, everyone's always into me about being a chef. Like I've done 20 years in admin and finance. Um, chefing never really fit for me. It wasn't something I was interested in getting into. Um I've always had like a bacon obsession. So there's always running jokes at work and that sort of led to charcuterie. And, um, you know, I got interested in charcuterie mostly and wanted to learn how I like do that at home and or something that I could get into. And there just wasn't really any way in Australia to do that. And I just, you know, started getting more and more into meat and looking at things on Instagram and eventually just the rabbit hole led me down to doing a good tree apprenticeship. So yeah, made the big move from admin and um, moved from the country to Melbourne to start my apprenticeship. Whereabouts did you um, start off the butchering career? The where'd you do the um, apprenticeship? So, yeah, so started off right at the top. So um, I was lucky enough to get an apprenticeship with Meatsmith, who most people would be familiar with, one of the you know best butchers in Melbourne. Um, so I just saw on Instagram they were looking uh, for apprentices um I spoke to my partner I was living in the country country Victoria at the time and he said oh yeah apply for it and applied for it came down for an interview and two weeks later we'll pack our bags and moving to Melbourne yeah it's a pretty big move just to go uh like how, how far out of Melbourne did you live um uh, like closely? three and a half four hours up on yeah. the New South Pit border yeah yeah so it's not just a it's just not like a quick drive into work it's a full get up and go and then you did that just uh, yeah, I just to, to to follow your passion in butchery and and charcuterie, and as you said, me Smith is, um, it's up there, yeah, with the best. I I got to be partial because you know I'm mates with Tom Boucher and he's uh, the Peter, Peter Boucher's <laughs> in there as well. So if I you know if I and I've had Troy on the uh, podcast before as well. So if I say they're up there with the best, then I'm I'm you know I'm impartial. I've got no yeah no oh, ties. Well, Troy, you know, Troy's learn off uh, Peter uh, initially anyway, so. Definitely, yeah, the higher echelon of the uh, butchery. So yeah, yeah, and they're just they're both immaculate butcher shops. But now let's get into the um, let's get into this little game of kind of just uh, thought of I don't know what it is. It's like word association, I guess. So I'm just going to run through some words, um, and you just say the first thing that comes to your head. 
but they're all obviously meat related because shock horror this is a, a meat <laughs> a meat podcast um there's no timer there's no prizes um it's just absolute uh, absolute glory so beef i'll try to keep it pg Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, no. If, if you want to swear, you, we can just tick that little box. But um, all right, let's, let's start off the first one. Uh, beef, cheeks, chicken. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's all I can think. Chicken doesn't excite me much. Sorry, not a, not a fan of chicken. Sorry, all no. you, uh, you you chicken lovers out there. Um, pork. Oh. I've had so much pork going through my head. Pork brisket. That's my, my main weapon at the moment. Pork brisket. Um, lamb. Shanks. Butcher. Wars. <laughs> uh, knife. <laughs> Sharp. Yeah, not my bloody knife. I'll tell you that for free. Uh, <laughs> chopping. Clock. Bench. Press. <laughs> Bench press, that's like white. Exercise while you're butchering, you know. <laughs> um, sausage. Skins. Roast. Lamb. Bone. Broth. Oh. <laughs> F- f- fermented. A salami. And now you got to get this one right because they are a podcast partner and we are going to talk <laughs> about them in the main uh, episode as well, but Australian. Oh. There we go. I'm so glad you got that. Otherwise, I would have had to edit it out. Um, so, yes, that is the first game, right? But I've had this uh, little game that my uh, – it was it's more of a question that my partner's kind of put to me, um, and it might stump you, right? So you're going to have to think about it. But if you were to be a product in your shop, what product would you be? And you can kind of look at it as in, you know, um, say for me, I'd probably be – um you know a sausage right versatile um uh easy to make versatile all easy rounder. all rounder <laughs> you know just yeah stuff like that and that's just off the top of my head so you know big things to come from from you back what product would you be and why oh i've probably just taken the easiest one out there haven't i <laughs> uh, what product would i be Hmm, that's difficult. I've stumped you. I'm just, yeah. Um, well, look, I am a ball rounder. I'm a little bit of fun. Um, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, though. So it can't be something just, you know, straight off the, the general shelf. So... Look, maybe I'll just go for, I'll go up for something like a tomahawk because something that someone can come in and admire a little bit, but not everyone wants to take home just for a special occasion. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love that. All right. You've, you've brought yourself back there. Um, <laughs> all right. So there we go. We've got to know Beck a bit. We've played uh, a few games with her. So Beck is also going to uh, share with us a value added recipe, but this one's a bit of a secret. We're not going to talk about it. Um, Beck's going to send me the recipe. I don't even know yet because I put her under the pump and I've only told her about 20 minutes ago that she's going to hand one up to me. So it will be, uh, by the time you're listening to this right now, it will be on the Instagram. And, um, I mean, I, now I'm excited and I'm intrigued to see what it is as well. Oh, now so, I've got more pressure. Yeah. Oh, all the pressure in the world, but you know, <laughs> diamonds are made under pressure. So it's all good. So thank you very much for joining us on part A of the podcast back and um we'll jump on and we'll you know we'll start talking about all the good stuff with australian pork um what else is in there funky stuff you're doing in your cleaver the the fermenting place that's always uh good to talk about as well but uh until next week uh we'll talk to you soon thank you very much for listening to this week's episode of the meetup and if you did enjoy the slight small quick chat we had with beck gamble join in next week for part B, where we delve into the story behind her changing careers, we get into the value added recipe range that she created for pork butchers, and also some pretty funky stuff that she tries out in her salami cabinet with Koji. Look it up, it's pretty crazy. But until then, jump on over Instagram, look up Beck's 
value added recipe that she's going to share with us. Share it, make it in your shop, and let us know what you think of it. Until then, have a great week. Catch you later.